Damn! <laughs> Alrighty guys, I'm gonna open the garage door. I think it's time to fire this thing up, see what it does. Let's open the door. <laughs> it's gonna take a second to get some gas to it, but let's see what it does. What did I do with the key here? Here we go. Working out here in the dark. Yeah, this is gonna take a second to crank up. I gotta get gas all the way to the float. Should start here in a sec. I can tell you this, it rips now. I need to reset the idle, but it definitely rips now. She is going like a scalded dog. She is ripping. That was a cold ride, but I'll tell you what, it is a massive power difference from earlier until now. So she is absolutely ripping on that new carb that I just put on there. So I'm gonna adjust the idle so that this thing comes into a nice idle. And, uh, and then I'll go ahead and slap the air box back on there. And then we'll check the idle again to make sure it's not interfering with anything. And then we'll take her for a rip and we'll do a speed test. I see he's got a GPS holder here, so. I'll uh, slap my phone in there. Hopefully I don't lose it at 60 goddamn miles an hour, but hopefully this thing holds pretty good. <laughs> I guess we'll find out. Uh, yeah. Mm. All right, now we're gonna see how it runs with the air box back on there. Let's see if it just comes into an idle without me having to hit the throttle at all. That's what I like to hear right there. lose my phone on this run let's see what the scooter gets up to now it's ripping let me see what I did with digi hud digi hud I agree while using app okay there we go uh, this will give us a very accurate reading I have GPS connection as to how fast we're going now because he doesn't have a speedometer but he said he was only able to go 42 last time Let's see what Dan can get it up to. Man, I feel so uncomfortable having my phone in here like this. I just don't trust this mount at all. I'm, I'm willing to give it a shot. Let's see what it does. I, if I break my Galaxy S10, I'm gonna be a little peevy with myself. I'm gonna be just slightly upset, but I'm willing to give her a go. We'll see what she does. All right. We got power. Idle's on its own now. Give her a little juice here. Make this turn. It's running pretty good now. It's idling like it should. Let me pull this down because this is about to be a very cold ride. God, I feel so uncomfortable with my phone up here. This thing vibrates a lot. All right, well, I'll tell you what. When I get on a straightaway, I'll just hold my phone. How about that? When I get on a straightaway, I'll just hold my phone. Oh, she's bogging. The air box, that's the problem. This thing needs a performance air filter. She can't breathe. That is the problem bogging on herself really bad see same thing it was doing earlier 
As soon as I take the airbox off, she'll run like a scalded dog. I'm about to show you that, so he needs to get a pod filter for this. He needs to take this down and get a pod filter. All right, let me see what I got going on now. I took the whole filter out, it's over there. For this to work properly, he needs to get a pod filter for this. It is not going to accept the stock air box anymore without knowing the original jetting size of this thing. So, took it off. What I am gonna do is this here. And we'll drop this back down. I'm gonna bring a Phillips head screwdriver with me in case I need to make an adjustment. There's that. We'll set all this aside, make sure I got a Phillips head. Yep, got a Phillips head. All right, let's try this again. This is how Dan operates. <sighs> and if I'm right about this, then all he needs is a pod filter. However, that other carburetor had its own issues. The vacuum slide was really stuck on that thing. So it's idling good now. It's got tons of torque this time. All right, so our max last time was 15. Let's see if we can beat that. Oh, it's a rocket. <laughs> it's a rocket. This thing just wanted to breathe, that's all. That's all she wanted was a little air. She needs a performance filter now. All right, I'm gonna take it slow here. I'm gonna hold on to my phone. Let's give her the beans. Dude, the amount of torque that this thing has now is awesome. Oh yeah. Ah, she's moving. Yes, yeah, sir. Still needs a new belt though. But she is moving. No problem, bro. She got up to 48. She just needed to breathe, that's all. Alright, let's take her down a back road here again. Oh, she's got power for days. Earlier, man, she was just complaining. She's got tons of torque now. <laughs> yeah, she loves it. She loves it. Now we're going to go uphill and see how she does. Let's give her the beans. Ah, oh, she's moving. I'm 250 pounds. She's moving. Uphill, man. We're riding 55, no 45, no problem. Uphill. And on a straightaway, boy, she gets it. However, like I said, you need a new belt, man. It's not reaching the top of the variator. The belt's worn out, so it definitely needs a new belt. You get a new belt, she'll go 55 all day. She's a screaming now. She's a little screaming demon. <laughs> uh, she'd go even faster I put some more air in the tires she's a little low on air I can feel the back tires telling me it needs air the smaller you can make the mount that meets the pavement the better she'll do oh yeah Screamer. She needs a performance filter though. Now let's see how it's going to idle after all that. <laughs> like a glove? Oh yeah. Yep. 
Yep. So the other carb was a little crappy. This is a true Japanese product of Japan that's in here right now, and you can tell the difference. It loves that carb. She loves it. Ooh. Ooh. Yes, sir. Sounds really healthy now. She just needed to breathe. It sounds super healthy. <laughs>